Hello and welcome. I'm Tavlina and we're logged in into the back end of Finale. These are all the features that you have with Finale, right? Now I've already covered the schedule tab and the discount tab in my previous videos. If you haven't watched them, I would encourage that you watch them right away. Now in the inventory tab, uh, firstly, well, I must tell you that why you need to configure the inventory tab options in Finale. Well, if you want to show a counter bar like this, which is showing the real time stock status of an item, you need to configure your inventory uh, options, right? So inventory management is already being handled by WooCommerce natively. But what Finale in addition allows you to do is that you are now allowed to show the real time stock status of your item on the product page itself through this uh, eye catching counter bar, right? So these are uh, it, is, it is actually telling you that six items are left and again this is coming from the real-time data from the back end, right? So let me show you how you can configure this and how you can set this up for your store. So first of all, in the inventory tab, you're going to enable this, right? And then you've got a few options here. So it says quantity to be sold. Now you've got two options, which is you can select custom stock quantity or you can select existing stock quantity. Now the existing stock quantity is basically coming from here. So in, in um, uh, on the product page itself, you've got the option to manage stock. If you check this box, it asks you to enter the stock quantity. So you can pick up a stock quantity, or you can enter the stock quantity over here. And then what Finale is going to do is that it is going to pick up the stock quantity that you have entered on the individual product page, right? Um, now, uh, if you choose custom stock quantity, then you are allowed to enter the, uh, the stock quantity that you would like. In here, again, you've got two options. One is basic, the other is advanced. In basic, you can set the quantity, 8 units, 10 units, whatever you like. You can enter the number here and it will pick up the stock quantity from here rather than um, from picking it up from here. So no matter what you've entered here, it is not going to care about that. It is going to care about what you enter here, which is when you select custom stock quantity, right? When you go to advance, you've got the option to select to actually set tiers for your inventory management. So you could say that if the original, if the, if the existing stock quantity is between zero and 10, set the custom stock quantity to say eight, and then you can similarly go on and add inventory ranges. So you could say that when the uh, when the existing stock quantity is between 10 and 20, show it as 18, right? And further add inventory ranges so that uh, it can actually set the custom stock quantity in this manner, right? So like in this case, uh, it's, it's a stock quantity of 50, right? That's the existing stock quantity. So it is going to look at which of these tiers the number 50 fits into and then it is going to select the corresponding custom stock quantity. So that is how it is done. Uh, in basic, you can simply set a one number and it's going to pick that up. Uh, then you've, it asks you, how would you like to calculate the sold units for counter bar, right? So this is the counter bar here that it is talking about. Uh, so you've got two options here, the overall campaign and the current occurrence. Now this might sound a little bit uh, tricky, but it is not. So just stay with me. I will explain this to you. Well, so basic difference between the overall campaign and the current occurrence is that um, in case of an overall campaign, you choose it when you want the sold units, previous sold units from the previous campaign to be carried forward, right? What happened during the previous campaign, the number of units for that item that was sold, when you want them to be carried forward, that's when you select overall. When you want it to take a fresh account of your inventory, when you do not want the previously sold units to be carried forward in the next campaign, that is when you select current, right? So like in this case, we have uh, scheduled a recurring campaign, right? So it goes, starts from 29th and it's a one day campaign. Uh, and then it has a pause period of six days, right? So it's a, it's, uh, it's a wow Wednesday deal. Uh, it uh, lasts for one day. It takes a pause of six days and then uh, restarts again, right? And I have entered eight as my uh, stock quantity available. So now uh, let's say on one wow Wednesday, I sold two of those products, right? And six uh, items are remaining. Um, now, if I've selected overall, these six items will get carried forward in my next wow wednesday deal as well right in in the next wow wednesday well it will say that six are remaining right and not eight right so it is going to take an account of 
what exactly happened in the last campaign when I select overall. But in case of current, it is not going to take an account of that. It's going to say, OK, so the quantity is eight and I am starting a wow Wednesday today and I'm going to take into account this, which has been entered here. The previous memory whatsoever has been deleted, right? So that was for the recurring campaign. Now, in one time campaign, the rules of the game remain the same. So let us say that in case of a one time campaign, uh, when you when you ran the campaign for, uh, say, two days and uh, you set out to sell uh, eight units, right? But two items did not sell out. So six items got sold out, but two did not, right? Now you extend the date of the campaign. So when you have extended the date of the campaign, do you want uh, the system to reflect that the six units have been already sold previously, right? So do you want it to uh, show the six previously sold units? That's when you will select overall all right but if you do not want it to show the previously sold six units well then you want to take a fresh stock of the inventory which is when you will select current you've got set up campaigns on out of stock products uh, yes or no you can select any one of these options uh, well I've selected no because I do not want this campaign to run on out of stock products right which is which is quite obvious right um, uh, then end campaign when all the units set up in the campaign are sold right so let us say that well I set up a campaign uh, to start on 29th uh, morning 12 a.m. and then uh, to go on till 10 p.m. right uh, but uh, the units got I, I got sold out of my inventory at 2 p.m. itself right so I was sold out so do you want the campaign to end at 2 p.m. or do you want this to still go on as, even after 2 p.m. so that's when you say yes end the campaign and then it will just say that the campaign has ended right and if you say no then the campaign will continue to go on um, then let me show you when you go to elements you've got counter bar here this is the direct relation or uh, with uh, this has got a direct relation with the inventory uh, that we discussed right so this is the visual form of the inventory that we discussed over here so this is the position it's below the price as you can notice it's exactly below the price uh, on the product page right then you've got these skins so you can choose any one of these uh, I've chosen this one. It's a little move, moving um, uh, GIF. Uh, edges, rounded, smooth, sharp, your choice. Next option is direction, which is left to right and right to left. Now, you've got these two options here. When you want the remaining units to be shown in active color or in solid color, which in this case is red, that is when you're going to select right to left. So like in this case here, we've selected right to left and the remaining items, which is six, is being shown in the active color or the solid color. Let, let me show you what happens when you do left to right right so when uh, when you do it left to right then the items which have been sold the sold units are now shown in active color or the solid color right which in this case is red so uh, that is what happens so uh, you can represent it how you want uh, this is entirely your choice you will just have to configure the message correctly so like in this case two units have been sold out of a limited stock size of eight units right so then the message will also change here and we will say hurry up two units already Ready sold out of limited stock size of eight then background I've chosen it as gray right uh, then active is for red active is for red here right because six units are left in stock so I want to show the active units with the red color and then you've got uh, the height so you can set it uh, as you want this is the text now we're using dynamic merge tags here I'll show you what I mean by that so it says hurry up just remaining units so it's picking up the remaining units based on the actual state state status right so if two two units have been sold it is showing me six units right so we we although we said that and we have an inventory of eight units it is showing me six units because two of them have already been sold so this is the remaining units merge tag items left in stock and then it is followed by the merge tag for counter bar as you can see this is exactly what is happening here hurry up just six which is the remaining units left in stock and then this is the dynamic merge tag for the counter bar now when you click here you'll find more dynamic merge tags so you could also uh, you could you could craft your message uh, by using any of these merge tags so you could say that out of a total units uh, of uh, let's say out of a total units two have already been sold right so if you're going to say if you're going to use these then it will be out of out of eight units 
two have been sold and six are left so that is the message which then will get printed here let me show you how Right, so let us print this. We're gonna press update. Yep, so hurry up. Out of eight units, two units are sold. Now only six items are left in stock, right? So this is exactly what it is printing. Similarly, you can configure some other options, right? So you can have a border around it if you like. You can have, uh, you can choose a width here. You can have a border color. If you want the counter bar to be shown after a delay. So let's say you don't want the counter bar to be shown until say one or two units are already sold, right? So you can set a delay here and you can uh, configure the counter bar to be shown only when a certain number of units units have already been sold. So that's about it. That's for inventory and uh, and the counter bar option here. We're going to go on and explore the next tabs. Well, that's about it. I really hope that you enjoyed learning how Finale can give you functionalities over and above the functionalities of native WooCommerce to manage inventory and stock. So I wish you luck with your promotions, set up profit pulling campaigns in your WooCommerce store and make more sales this season. All the best.